welcome back. I figured we would start this off in the laundry room because I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting um, the past couple days about why do I save my lint? <laughs> and I just have to laugh because I don't save my lint, but I'm sure it came from this where I said, this is where I put my lint and dryer sheets. The reason I do that is because I don't have a trash can in here and I really don't have room for a trash can. So I figured that would be the next best thing. I just have that sitting up there. When I clean the dryer lint out, I just put it in there. And then when it gets full, I take it and I empty it in the trash. So that is why that, light, that dryer lint is up there. <laughs> it's not me saving it, but I can understand the confusion and I just, I got a good laugh out of that. So thank you for that. Um, but side note, if you have a little fire pit, you can save your dryer lint and it is a great fire starter. So that's another reason to save your dryer lint, but that's not, I'm not saving mine. <laughs> I really, I throw mine away, but my, my laundry room is tiny and I have like a hamper and a, my little robo vacuum cleaner and all that on the wall behind me. And then my washer and dryer door on each of the other walls. So that's just what I've come up with to put my dryer lint in. So thought I would just kind of clear that up. <laughs> I'm not hoarding dryer, dryer lint. <laughs> um, as far as the rest of the day, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. It's a beautiful day. It's fall white day. I'm still in my pajamas, but I did get up and get like my face on and my hair done just in case, cause I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, I know we have plans tomorrow, but I don't know what's gonna happen today. So I'm gonna bring y'all along though, whatever it is, whatever we decide to get into. Y'all, it is such a gorgeous day. Like no humidity, look how pretty the sky is. You can see old glory flying, so much the wind's blowing. It just feels amazing. And I was thinking that my little Hummers had left, but I did see one on there a while ago. So I need to go make them some more food because that one's just about out. I've got my windows open. It's just like, oh, I love it. I'm using my thrifted door prop, I'm leaving the door open so Buster can run in and out. How good does old glory look? We just swapped out our other flag for this one. We, I just picked it up at Lowe's and it looks so pretty in its vibrant colors now. To me, this just makes the house. I love it. I did hang my gourd up. I'm hoping the little birds build a little nest and I don't know if they will or not, but <laughs> we'll see. Finally moved my little chicken up. I forgot the mounting tape again, but I had to run to Walmart, so I got a pack of these little small command hook things, and that works just fine. And I know some of y'all get freaked out by my knife there. I'm sorry, but like that much better moved up. And then we did one more other thing. So when James made my fireplace and all of that, I bought knobs for the doors and we never put them on. And so he finally drilled the holes for me to put the knobs on today. I was like, can we please do this? Because I have honestly kept forgetting about it and then I would think about it when he wasn't home. And so I'm gonna show you what they look like. They're very cute. I've had them for about three years now from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so let me show you what they look like. <laughs> and there they are. Just very simple, basic little knobs but I love them and it just kind of finishes that off. And of course there's a set over there, but 
but check that off the list. It's been a productive week of getting little odd and end jobs done. Things that you say, I need to get to that, I need to get to that, and we're finally getting to them. So I'm very happy with how everything, the things I've gotten done in the past week. But now I'm fixing to cook Buster some chicken. And I think I'm going to have some leftover chicken casserole for my dinner. There's probably enough for me and James. If, if he wants that, then there's some taco stuff left over from a couple nights ago. I can do that. So, either way, we're having leftovers. We're cleaning out the fridge because we don't like wasting food around here. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we are going to the Mississippi Annual Pecan Festival. And I'm so excited. I have never been. <laughs> it's like every year we want to go and then there was always something that would come up. So this year we put it on the calendar. We made it a point and we are going there today. But I've never been to the pecan festival. So I'm excited. I don't even know what to expect. So I'm going to bring y'all along with us. Look at this cute hat. Judy, my sister from another mister, sent this to me and I love it. It's perfect. Um, and then Sarah got me this shirt last year. I love it. I got my little cutoffs and flip flops because it's a warm day and it's probably going to get even warmer. So, going to go very cool and casual. And it's outdoors. <laughs> so, I wanted to be comfortable. So, now that I've given y'all my OOTD and filled y'all in on what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna head back inside and um, just wait till time for James to get up and we leave. What is that? I don't know. Look at that old house. Look at the picket fence. I love it. This was cold in the winter, do you? So the only source of heat would have been that and that? I 
look who we found. I've already made a purchase. James, where are you going? <laughs> Will you just go walk right by us? At least it's not scorching hot, huh? I've been looking everywhere. Now, Papa would love that, wouldn't he? That'd be a toy to him. My daddy would love that. sausage. I need that barrel. No mules. There's James. Born. It smells like the country. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know how many steps we got in, but James, what did you think about it? You liked it? Pretty good, though. Yeah. I think if we come back next year, we will not be bringing Buster Man. <laughs> it's just too hard to push him in that stroller. And I don't know. His little harness thing doesn't fit him right. I don't know if I did it wrong or what, but we had a good time. Got to see the kiddos for a minute. Um, we got separated from Delane and Tyler, so I don't know where they ended up going, and there's really no cell service out here, so. <laughs> um, but there was not as many, like, vintage and antique things as I was hoping for. It's a lot of um, other kinds of tents and stuff, which that's fine. But I did buy one thing that was vintage, um, and I'll share that with y'all. I spent a whole dollar. James, I spent a dollar. The most money we spent was on a hot dog and some drinks. <laughs> we were starving. I'm still hungry. You hungry, James? We gotta get some food. <laughs> no, that is not a fabulous... <coughs> Buster! <coughs> the lawn guy's here, can you tell? As I was saying, that is not a suntan. <coughs> that would be dirt. That's how dirty my feet are. I wore flip-flops out into a field. <laughs> Look, James. Look. <laughs> Buster. Good job protecting the home front. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I mean, we can't really fuss at them for doing what they're instinct instinctively made to do. Y'all, I bought one thing, and I've had to redecorate the kitchen. 
What, James? <laughs> what thing? I paid a dollar for it and I'm redecorating the kitchen. Not the whole kitchen, I'm just kidding. But it's so funny how when you buy one thing, you end up having to move other things around. So I'm gonna go show you. I'm mad like I didn't hear him. Y'all didn't hear him either. It was just a bunch of noise over there. We didn't hear what he had to say. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get up and go show y'all what I bought today, where I put it, and why I say I had to redecorate the kitchen. <laughs> That is an exaggeration. That is a joke. That is me making fun of myself. So I bought this vintage old pie plate, pie pan. Let me show you this. I bought this and it was a dollar and I thought this would be the perfect spot for it. So I just moved put my little iron stone plate somewhere else and I just kind of like set this up here and then put this little pumpkin in it like that how cute is that I love it so I didn't really redecorate the kitchen I'm just I just moved the plate here comes the ray of sunshine I need my shades James <coughs> In the shades. People think the day just got extended because I'm shining. Huh? People think the day just got extended because I'm shining. You are shining. I'm shining. My hair keeps falling down. Have you had a good day? What does that look about? Uh oh, because you had to get up early. <laughs> Folks, I've been drug all over South Mississippi. You have not. Or does that, where is that at, McLean? Would that be technically McLean? Beaumont. Beaumont. Anyway. It's only an hour and 20 minutes from the house. You act like we went to Plum Nearly. We could see it from there. <laughs> Did you enjoy it though? What was your favorite part? Getting in the car to come home. <laughs> What? I love you. I took you. That's all that matter. You didn't like it, any of it? She starred me down. You could see my ribs by <laughs> noontime. I bought you a hot dog. They had a nice setup. It's good. Yeah. It was nice. I like, I wish they would have had more vintage pieces and antiques. That's what I was going for. I don't care about all the other stuff. <laughs> but I did love seeing the cabins and all that. That's just right up my alley. Who knew we had a little bit of Cades Cove-esque here in South Mississippi? <laughs> Those cabins, I did hear them say that those cabins were not originally where they were at. Like they had took them apart and rebuilt them where they were today. Um, so that probably explains why the gaps were so big in between maybe. Why there wasn't any chink in between the logs. Yeah, so. And you could tell that the roofs had been framed with modern lumber, so. But you get the gist of it, right? Yep. And that's probably why there wasn't um, chimneys. Because you know they probably had a chimney originally. Mm -hmm. You think? I don't know. Would burn the stove? Or... Yeah, but wouldn't they be considered like uptown to have a wood burning stove? Because I'm just, look, I'm no, just, no, I'm, there. I'm just referencing um, Little House on the Prairie. Because Caroline used to cook in the fireplace until Charles. Yeah, and Little House on the well, Prairie. Charles real, was, and everything's right Charles on was the gonna, internet that you read. Charles was going to buy her the stove for Christmas, but Laura beat him to it. And of that's, course she did. That's how they ended up with the stove. 
So that's what I was kind of referencing. And when I was looking at the mules and that plow, I was thinking about the episodes where it showed him with the plow with the mule, disking up the field. And the Little House on the Prairie is based on books written by Laura Ingalls Wilder, James. And there's a reason why people didn't live too long back then. Life was hard. Yeah, they didn't have it easy like you do being married to me, huh? No shortage of fertilizer with you talking like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, it's been a good weekend. I've enjoyed it. It's been very chill. What's gotten into us? We've been so chill here lately. It has not been chill. It has been chill. I have not had you no projects to do. What projects have you done? What projects Work have I my had you? fingers to the bone. I got bandages on my fingers right now. I'm not going to show you how to respect for have, my wife. He don't have any. He's lying. Oh my goodness! You really are hurting my eyes. <laughs> anyway, we did get to see the kids a little bit today. Cody well, we got to see Cody. Out. We didn't get to see Sarah and her mom and daddy because by the time we were going to make our way over to where they were at, her sister's baby was not happy, so they had to go ahead and leave. So we didn't get to see them. But I did get to see Cody and Lena and Tyler and Benson. So, and then we got separated from Tyler to Lena. That was all she wrote. There's zero cell service up there. Well, I'm not gonna say zero, it's very spotty and no. But James, I want you to know I'm okay now. You know where I kicked the stick? Well, when I was washing my feet, I pulled out a chunk of the stick out of my foot. Oh, it got lodged goodness. in there. I'm okay though, don't worry. Are you wondering, Donna, why didn't you wash off your makeup when you took a bath? Is that what you're wondering, James? I had a question that. Oh, well, there's a reason. There's a method to my madness. You want to know what it is? No. I'm suffering through the madness. Well, when I take my makeup off with my coconut oil, it makes my contacts blurry. <laughs> Don't so, put it on your eyes. Why? I have to. To get all the stuff off my eyes. Anyway, I figured I'd do that when I start to Contacts bed. are in your eyes. Don't put the coconut oil in your eyes. I have to, like, rub it around on my eyes to get all the mascara and stuff off. So, okay. I'll do that before I go to bed, and then I'll take my contacts out and put my glasses on. So, I'm not really a diva. I mean, I mean, I am, but I'm not. I would say don't worry about the eyelashes, but that, that'd kill you. Well, you said you don't like being on camera without your lashes. My natural beauty. <laughs> How's your splint holding up? Not well. Well, I hadn't even beat on you in a while. That's my stint. I know, that's what I said. How's your stint holding up? You said splint. Did I? Yeah. Well, I meant stint. You're supposed to know what I mean. Hmm. We've been married long enough, you're supposed to know. Why aren't you very talkative? I'm so tired. <laughs> James, I right. used up all my steps and all my words before she started this video. I wonder how many steps we got in. Two minutes. <laughs> James. The mules were laughing at me. You're so pitiful. And that poor little puppy. Poor little Buster. What about Buster? He had it made. He was in his buggy. His stroller. He did not want the bath that you gave him. No, I just had to give him a bath. He didn't like it. He'd be all right. He had to. He had to. So you say. He had to have a bath. He'd been out in all that dust. He wasn't going to get in our bed with all that mess on him. That little fellow was sniffing everything. 
see a little hummingbird out there on my finger. They got fresh food this morning. I made them some fresh food. I was worried because there was a couple days I didn't see them. And I was like, I wonder if they're gone, but. Apparently not. They had eaten the mess out of that food, so I made them some more. There's Buster. Buster, you want to get up here and say hi to everybody? Oh. Okay. Well, this is very, like, not entertaining. It's back porch shit. You get what you get. And you don't pitch fit? No, you don't pitch fit. <laughs> they still get what I get? Get what you get. <laughs> I'll tell them bye. We're gonna call it a day. Bye, y'all. I'm gonna go wash my face, take my contacts out, and get into bed. All while it's still daylight out. Get the coconut oil off the contacts. Yeah. You, you gonna tell them that we'll see them next time? Bye, y'all. We'll see you next time? She'll see you next time. You won't? You going somewhere? You ain't gonna be here? Get married, they say. It's fun, they say. Hell, yeah, Bundy, you're my hero. <laughs> we love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>